Hi, I'm Denshi, and this is the Yay Package Manager. It's what a lot of people use on Arch Linux, including me, because it's not only just a wrapper for Pac-Man, which is the stock Arch Linux package manager that comes with Arch Linux and that you use to install all your packages, but it also has support for the AUR, or the Arch Linux user repository, which is that big repository with all the user-maintained packages, and it just has a lot of really useful packages in it, and you might want to use that at some point. It's probably the greatest selling point of selling point it's free but the greatest thing about arch is the accessibility to that repository and with using this tool called yay you can search and install and do a bunch of things that are really useful regarding the AUR so first of all let's take a look at how to install this on your arch linux system so you're going to want to have git installed so this is going to be a sudo pacman s git if you don't already have it installed as you can see it says reinstall it so i already have that cancel the command with control See? We're gonna go to this website over here, the aur.archlinux.org packages yay. So this is the yay package, and we're gonna click here at the git clone URL. You can click it and it copy pastes it, and then we can go to our terminal of choice. I'm using termite here, but you can use whatever terminal. And we're gonna do git clone. So you should have the git command installed, and we're gonna paste that. It might be Control Shift V or Control Alt V, depending on what terminal you're using. For me, it's Control Shift V to copy paste things into my terminal. Uh, press Enter and it will download the yay source code. Now, this isn't exactly the best way of going around this in terms of speed, because what I've just done here is downloaded the git repository, sort of the git plot, the Arch Linux source code for yay. So what I'm going to do is following these steps over here, so we've already cloned it, we're gonna change directory to yay, so cd yay, and then we're gonna make package dash si. So that just builds this package for us so we can use yay. It's gonna ask to install the Go programming language so it can compile it, and we're gonna just press enter when it asks for that. Eventually, once that's installed, it downloads the tar there, and it begins building this. So as you can see, it's building yay from source. So it's taking the source code we downloaded and turning it into a package we can actually install on the system. It's gonna have to press enter here. It might ask for sudo privileges, so type in your password if you have, you know, sudo privileges, root privileges. And now that we've done that, uh, we can just change directory back to where we were before if you want. We can now use the yay command. You can, uh, you know, press it and it will automatically start doing stuff if you just type yay nothing. We'll cover that later. Now the reason I say this isn't the best way of doing this is because you can also go and download yay-bin. So this is a different link from what we downloaded before. So if you go up in our commands, you notice that we cloned just yay. But if we were to clone yay-bin instead, and then change directory to yay-bin, and then make the package as we did before, it doesn't ask to install Go, because this is a pre-compiled package, and as you can see, it installed much faster. I just told it not to actually cover what we've already installed as yet, but basically, if you clone this URL, which is what I have in the description, you're going to be building Yay from source, and if your computer isn't the most powerful thing in the world, that might take a little while. Uh, however, if you want to, you know, if you want to do this, then this is probably the best way to get the most up-to-date versions of Yay. And uh, there's always the Yay-bin package, so you can just change this command to Yay bin and download the binary version of yay so you can speed up this whole process. Okay, so now that we've covered the install process, you should have the yay command installed on your system. We're gonna take a look at how to use it. If you run yay and nothing else, it updates all your repositories and your packages. As you can see, I don't really have anything to update so it doesn't you know, show up anything, but if I had packages both in my regular repositories and off the AUR that needed updating, then that would have updated both of those. If we run yay, then a search term, so for example, let's say I'm searching for a package. I want something GNOME related. I would type in GNOME, so yay GNOME, and it's gonna show up with a list of packages that have GNOME somewhere, whether it be in their name or in their group, which is these square brackets over here, these are package groups, or their description. And, uh, you know, it shows up all these various packages, and this is the same, essentially the same, as running sudo pacman-ss GNOME. That's, it's the same thing. However, the difference with this command is that it gives you numbers, so you can, so as you can see, all these numbers, so 25 and all this stuff, and you can type in the numbers you want to install. So if I want to, if I want to install packages like 15, and 4, and 7, and all this kind of stuff, press enter, and then it begins to download them, I'm not going to actually install them. So you can install them and this yay then a search term 
also searches the AUR. So as you can see, it's all extra repositories, things that are in the Arch Linux repository. But if you go high enough, you'll notice that soon you'll reach community, and then you'll reach the AUR. So this little thing where it says AUR, then the slash, that means those are packages that come from the AUR. So you can search the AUR for things. So that's what YA is really useful for. There's one last thing I want to say with the search terms, and that's that you can discriminate with the search terms as you go along. So let's say I want to download a GNOME program, so something that's either in GNOME groups or with GNOME somewhere in the name of description and then I want to look specifically for packages that have both GNOME and clock in their name so we're gonna look for packages that have GNOME in their name and then out of those packages we're gonna search for clock and we can keep doing this so we can keep adding things but let's just do GNOME then clock and you'll see that a couple of things come up so GNOME clocks GNOME shell extension GNOME clocks get so you can discriminate with every next term in the search if we type in yay dash s then a package or yay-u, then a package, or yay-r, then a package, it's gonna do the same thing as sudo pacman-s, or u, or r, but it's gonna take into consideration a UR package. For example, there's an a UR package called the DaVinci Resolve, which is the DaVinci Resolve video editor. I can do yay, dash s davinci resolve and it's going to download and install it from the aur so if i run that as you can see it's going to ask for the dependencies just press enter and all these different steps and it's going to begin downloading it and installing it. i'm going to cancel that because i already have that installed on my system but you can do that you can also run yay dash syu as you would for sudo pacman and it's the exact same thing yay dash c is a very useful command it uninstalls any unnecessary packages that were installed for let's say they were installed to compile a certain AUR package or they're just generally useless. It's going to uninstall them for you. You could also run yay-sc which is the same as pacman-sc where it clears all cache and stuff. Just give it confirmations for everything and it just gets rid of all yay so AUR cache and pacman cache so that just clears up space in your system. All of these commands can be run with yay-no confirm to remove all prompts. If I do dash dash no confirm and I do dash s vim, for example, so I want to install vim with no confirmation, just install it, press enter, and it will automatically install like that without asking me for yes or no. It's gonna do it with the dash dash no confirm option. Now a couple of the last things we wanna talk about is the dash g and dash b options. So yay dash g, the name of a package, downloads that package's package build. So we noticed at the beginning of this video, what we did was git clone and then a URL. We were downloading something called a package build. So essentially it makes a folder. In this case, as you can see, we got a folder called yay. And that was made when we downloaded this using git clone. Now we can do that exact same thing, but using the yay command and without the need for a URL, we just type in the name of the package. So we can do yay dash g DaVinci Resolve, for example, and it's going to download the DaVinci Resolve package build. So as you can see, we now have a folder called DaVinci Resolve. And if we change directory to DaVinci Resolve and we do um, make package dash si, you'll see that it will begin installing DaVinci Resolve as it would when you do yay dash s Davin DaVinci Resolve. This is the way to download the package build by itself if you want to, let's say, modify the source code and then build. The last thing I want to take a look at is a pretty cool command, yay-p-stats. This lists statistics on both your AUR packages and your regular packages. So as you can see, we have 993 packages installed. We got 16 foreign packages. So those are packages from the AUR. Explicitly installed packages 167 and packages that are taking up space on our system. That's 11.5 gigabytes of space. It lists your 10 biggest packages, which I think is a very useful thing if you're you know, looking through your packages you want to find big ones that maybe you don't really need so yeah that's a very useful command that I find quite good but anyway that was the yay package manager it's a relatively simple piece of software to use but you know very powerful downloading things from the AUR is super good if you're using Arch Linux it's a very it's a great commodity it's and I love the AUR it's very large it's got a lot of useful packages and this makes up for the relatively small Pac-Man just stock Arch repositories because those are are normally quite small so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I've been Denshi, goodbye.